How much froth is my hardcore Iron Man which cannot leave PvP worlds? The account got one major goal and that is obtaining an infernal cape. This series could end at any point and the current bounty is on screen. Good luck gamers. Whoa, Ralph, 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 Ralph. Another episode that we start off by getting ourselves membership. So the plan is simple. I want to get some combat levels. I'm 67 combat right now. It will increase my chances of dying, but it doesn't matter because I just want to boost up the account as quick as possible. All right, my favorite AFK spot. Um, we are going to train defense. Yeah, let's get our defense up. 41 defense, 42 defense. And there we go, 43 defense, 68 combat. Another level, 44, 45 defense, a clean, nice number. All right, I think we're good right there. I got plenty of herbs that uh, herb stack is looking nice i want to get my combat app very quickly i'm just gonna rush it holy grail making sure no one's at the spot yeah good all right this will be interesting very interesting for the account 50k defense 11k prayer giving us 46 prayer and 47 defense we are 69 combat now um mystic might new upgrade i cannot believe i haven't done this quest fight arena this is one of the star requests in every single situation but i just haven't done it that's the fight arena completed and apparently jagex have added a new reward from the quest which is the rake on everyday earbuds and luckily for all of us Raycon is today's video sponsor. The Raycon Everyday Earbuds is what I've been using every time I step outside of my house. These earbuds start at half the price of other premium audio brands and they sound just as good. Raycons are currently available in five different colors. We got black, blue, red, rosé gold and white. The battery life of the Raycon earbuds is 32 hours. They even got free shipping and returns making this a very simple and good Christmas present to a family member or a friend. And by using my link in the description box down below or go to buyraycon.com slash cng and use code HOLIDAY to get 15% discount. 7th combat! <laughs> We're going up in combat, 70 combat, beautiful. I've realized that I can get 5 range levels and 5 magic levels before gaining a combat level, so we're gonna slow down the combat gaining. Alright, a rune warhammer, free 20k high elk. Look, my cash tag have already doubled. Just from 20 minutes here at the channel. Eh, uh, I missed the level 72 magic. Oh my god, look at that. If he gets a tail block on me, I am dead. Oh, whoa, another one. My combat bracket full ancestral. What is this? What's the slayer task we're getting in today? Rock slugs. Way 72 range and 41 slayer. Task completed. And that's the cave slime task completed. And there it is another task completed. We now have 76 points. I've been thinking about something. I have so many Shinchampas. What if I use them up? There's always been one place I've been wanting to use my Shinchampas and that is in the Ferox Enclave by these spiders. These spiders have a chance of dropping grubby keys where I can obtain Serodomin Brews, but it is in multi. And if someone in a team scouts me here, I'm so good as dead. But high risk is high reward. I don't know if this is the play, but here we go. Good luck to me. Oh my god, first kill and we already got the grubby key. There we go, one grubby key. 48 defense. Oh, 68 hit points. 49 defense, 7th one combat. There we go, grubby key. Number 2. Just look at those XP drops. 54, 54, 40, 40, 40. I'm so happy I am doing this because I just CBA AFKing something with a rune scheme guitar for too long. 50 defense. Thank you, another grabby key. Another one, 51 defense. Okay, another grabby key. Okay, we have four grabby keys. We are gonna start opening them up. All right, Bruce, please. Thank you, good luck. Restores, uh, nothing. And uh, nothing. And uh, nothing. And uh, nothing. Uh, I, I think it's one in ten for Sir Bruce drop from the grubby chest, but yeah. Another minute, another defense level. 52. 53 defense, 72 combat. Getting scary. Is that a groupy key? <gasps> a clue scroll. I forgot I can get those. Another groupy key? Okay. 
Three more keys, Jagex. You know what to do. Not this. Not even a shark drop. How sad. So here I am at the magic training arena. I think I want some upgrades. There's two upgrades I want from this place. It's the infinity boots and it's the staff and maybe even the book. Wait, 73 magic. This is probably the most boring thing on RuneScape. Changed my mind. And the worst room is done. Okay, I did not enjoy this grind, but do you think we're done here? Yep, 120 points. Look at all the upgrades, but we are gonna take the boots, infinite boots. Completed. We still need the staff. The staff is a good upgrade. And the book is a good upgrade as well. The rest, not so much. But look at this. We are going to get ourselves a plus 100 to 102 magic defense. This is gonna be very nice for my future thumbnails. Like plus two magic defense, not too much of a big deal. But the potential in the thumbnails. Like I'm walking with fashion. It is another weekend and private is always on on weekends. And uh, I don't know what I want to do today. I guess I'm gonna start off pretty much every weekend AFK and Chaos Roots. I kind of want to get 75 combat for Conor Slayer. Here we go, 54 defense, beautiful. Look who it is! He's here! With you! He found me! I was so close to getting that attack level as well. Did he just yeah, try to invade my house? <laughs> uh oh all right i'm out i should have just kicked him oh he's still in my house there we go he's been kicked and i've been teleblocked and we're gonna lock portal now he can't enter all right i ruined 2h plenty of money thank you it's a big high alk there we go 73 range the body number. I'm gone. And uh, look. Yeah, we made around 200k from that trip. Very nice. And there we go. 6 to 1 Herblore. Um, I very rarely get these levels. Look at that. 74 magic. I just have this feeling that I'm never gonna get anything from barrels. Here we go. Yep, nothing. Good luck. Nothing. Time to start AFKing again. See you guys at 54 attack. Hey again, that's me 54 attack back. See you guys at 55. 55 attack. I'll see you guys when I get 56. Oh, 69 hit points. Um, I changed up the scenery a bit. I got bored of crabs. 56 attack. That's 57 attack. 58 attack. Here we go. 59 attack. I'm actually gonna take a break right now. We're gonna buy my upgraded weapon for 60 attack. Here we go, our weapon of choice, Dragon Longsword. Huge level coming up. Uh, no, no, okay, there we go. 60 attack, we can now wear dragon weapons. Massive upgrade from the account, check out this. Melee strength, 56, 283 with Dragon Longsword, and we now also have the Dragon Dagger. Two big weapons for the account. No dragon scimitar. And we're gonna keep it that way for a while. Alright, we need to get a task for myself. Crawling. Ugh. Here we go, first dragon spec. Boom! 42 slayer. 19 tasks completed. Next task, at 75 combat, we can get a Conor slayer task, which is gonna give us a lot, a lot of points. Okay. <laughs> There we go, 59 attack, 59 strength, uh, my apologies, we got 75 combat, 75 combat is the requirement to get Slayer task from Koner, which is one of the quickest way to get Slayer points for future upgrades. Okay, no one's here. There's... Oh my god, he's... Oh my god, he was over there. Oh, he was waiting. My heart was pounding. He came from... He was camping the other side. I'm never gonna get myself a Conor Slayer task now. I actually went back and got myself a Conor Slayer task, but I'm gonna keep it a secret because I'm not gonna complete this task until the next episode. Wanna know what's funny? I waited four hours to get up to Mount Karum, and I waited another four hours to get that Slayer task. So in total, just getting the task took me 8 hours. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, I got such a PTSD. There is actually another reason why I wanted to get my combat up. In the last episode, I attempted to complete the quest A Taste of Hope and I failed. But now that my stats are up, I bought myself a room plate body and we can re attempt to complete this fight. This boss fight is pretty difficult, it's got 5 phases and in the first phase it's got a special attack that hits constant 30s. And as you can see on screen, half my food supply is now gone and we got 4 phases left. Take that. The second phase is just killing Viewatches, which is very simple, you don't have to waste any food killing these. And the third and the fourth phase is a copy of the first and the second phase. And after completing all the first four phases, I am now at the fifth and last phase with one shark and one dose of prey potion left. All I need to do now is protect from melee as far as I'm aware. Come on. I surely I can do it. Okay, ring of recoil is not gonna work. We only got one shark, please hit! I don't wanna mess up the prey flick here. I can trade hits one for one. Just one more hit! It's one HP! Oh my god, I did it! Oh my god, what a fight! Can't believe I did it! Oh my god, what a close call that was. That's the quest completed. We now have unlocked the Draken's medallion, making it possible for us to teleport straight to the Theater of Blood. A very, very nice teleport. And it's now been done. We're gonna put some XP on, I think, Herblore. Another 2.5k, 7.5k experience to Herblore. Beautiful. And that is where we're gonna wrap up today's episode. I am very happy with the progress the last couple of weeks. 75 combat and a brand new teleport have been unlocked. And we are still alive. And if you made it to this final message right here, I'm asking for one thing. And that's 5,000 likes. Oh yeah, the bounty have been increased by 25 mil and 500 million putting the bounty at 8 billion and 30 million. Good luck gamers.